Ah, oh, it feels so good to be back from my trip. I took a trip to New York City. Went down to visit my sister and also to go to the Nintendo store. Uh, my sister was graduating, congratulations to her, and the Nintendo store was really fun. I'm going to make two videos about the New York City trip. One is going up here where I'm going to show you the city, show some videos I took and everything. And the other is going up on the Pokemon channel to show you what I got at the Nintendo store. So let's get right into it. So the first thing that we did was go down to the city. It's uh, quite a long drive down, but you know, not over five hours, a bit under that, probably about 420. Hey. Um, and so we go through, we took the Lincoln Tunnel. There was a lot of traffic to get through there. Uh, this is really funny. I've never done like a travel vlog kind of stupid thing. Um, these are fun. Uh, so we went through the tunnel, made an elf reference, uh, came out of the tunnel, saw all the buildings and everything. Then we parked, walked around, went to my sister's graduation, came out, got some food, parked, parking is parking your car in a city, just prepared to lose a lot of money. Um, so, sorry, I'm drinking some soda. Also, there's a shadow behind me. Can't really deal with that. Like, I got a weird rig going up here in, in the, uh, in my sister's old room with lights doing stuff. It's not, at least it's not orange like it was in the basement. Uh, so, with all waving included, uh, let's go on to what else we did in the city. So I, uh, stayed at my sister's dorm on the couch, slept through that. We woke up, we went out, and we got some food, and then we went to the Nintendo store. So, uh, I'm gonna... Hopefully, I've been rolling some footage in the back of just, you know, skyscrapers and all sorts of stuff. And I'll just keep rolling that and keep letting this just be audio. So, New York City, it's big and it's not just Manhattan. I crossed over from the, uh, you know, from the mainland of the United States over the Hudson outlet into the Atlantic area thing over, the ma over one of the bridges from New Jersey. Uh, I live in upstate New York, should probably say that. And then you go over to Manhattan, and then you jump from Manhattan over the Manhattan Bridge or another bridge, Manhattan or Brooklyn Bridge, I think those are the two bridges, and you go over to Brooklyn, which is another part of Long Island, and then you can keep going down that for a long, long time. It's a big complex of stuff down there, and it's city, 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 until you get to, like, you know, halfway up Long Island. So, uh, Brooklyn, very interesting, very different look uh, when compared to New York City. And on the second day, when we went back over to Manhattan, uh, we went to Rockefeller Center, because that's where the Nintendo store is. And Rockefeller Center is like a theme park, surrounded by huge, huge buildings. Like, stuff is big, really big, really tall buildings. Empire State Building. Stuff like that. So if you've never been to a city, if you've never been to New York City, or if you've never been outside of a farm where somehow you have data connection and you can watch this video, um, yeah, this is probably a bit shocking. You know, you should, you know, if you have a reason to go to New York, New York City to visit it, uh, it's cool, it's expensive to park and stuff like that, and you'll get stuck in traffic like we did. We're not stopped in uh, Times Square traffic. Oh, we were about to be. Go up a couple. Because that's what the traffic gods wanted. That was hell. I'm so glad we got out. Uh, and it can be scary to walk around in. Um, I was fine, but people with anxiety worse than mine, my very moderate level of it, uh, could probably have freakouts from being in a car and being, oh, is there an echo in this room? Huh. Didn't notice that at first. Could probably fix that, but I'm not even put a window. They can hear all the birds. Anyway, uh, I digress. So... You know, we got stuck in a car jam at one point, and there was a car, like, two inches from our car, because it was a big... <laughs> horns going everywhere, uh, and, you know, it can be freaky, and you can have 50 people crossing the street with you. It's not Tokyo, but still. Um, 
yeah, and the buildings are really, really tall and very diverse. You know, sometimes you'll run to seeming like 20 buildings that are the same exact kind of thing. And then you get to a plaza where it's a bunch of hugely tall buildings and they all look completely different. You know, uh, Rockefeller Center, Broadway, uh, the Art District, um, and uh, what's the other place I'm thinking of? Uh, the Times Square, there. Um, all these places, I saw almost all of them, drove past them, drove through them, drove into them, got stuck in them. Uh, hey, uh, anyway, so yeah, they were all really cool sites. You know, advertisements everywhere for everything. And, you know, I'm going to take a little bit of an RMS kind of break here and talk about future cities and dystopias and stuff like that. Um, not dystopias, just like future cities from fiction. Now, if you've read, you know, future Blade Runner-y books and stuff like that and seen those kind of movies, you have a picture of what you think a future city looks like. You know, digital advertisements and all these things everywhere and a bunch of huge, new, glossy buildings and everything. But we, we, what you have to understand is that we never really bulldoze everything in on our planet. Like, you can see age through. It's no, you know, no time ever does this in terms of what a city looks like. Yes, you can have extreme rapid expansion, but cities are made by constructors, lots of them, who have different ideas, and you'll see different kinds of buildings, you'll see different styles, you know? And yes, we have very futuristic towers like Freedom Tower in New York City that look all glass. They're just blue and white and sheer all glass buildings. And then right next to you can have the Empire State Building, which still looks like it's made of brick. Like, you, you know, you see old building, new building, old building, new building, various types of new buildings, and you see advertisements, and you think future 21st century advertisements from 30 years ago, and you think all digital, wacky, interacting with your car, crazy stuff, but really there's not much different between looking at a billboard and looking at an electric advertisement billboard. Because, yeah, they cycle, but when it's still, when, like... Most of these things are just billboards that you don't have to replace with a giant sheet. Most of these are images that stay the same image for like 12 hours. And it's essentially just still a billboard. So just because a, a you know, the future comes gradually, it comes slowly. Every single future change for the, you know, for the 10 to 20 year olds going through it, and even for a lot up to 40 or everything, like, there are people who say that stuff happens way too quickly, but they're only focusing on some things and ignoring the fact that smartphones weren't like this four years ago. Like, stuff happens so rapid. Oh, I'm trying to I'm trying to use hair ties on my hair right now and uh, frizzy. I just took a shower. Um, yeah, uh, uh, weird bun thing going on back here. Back to the rant. Um, <laughs> So, the future comes gradually, even though it does come very quickly, we don't really notice it in that kind of sense. We hear about something, and we assume that we were already able to make it because we are never surprised, speculatory, you know, speculation-wise, if we hear that some private group that is not private group that is not anywhere near ready for a commercial product has developed something like Google Glass or VR or a flying car or something, we're like, well, no, duh, of course you can make that. And then we hear about it, we lose hype over it. Then five years later, they're like, we have a commercial product. And we're like, okay, like, cool. I'm not really that interested or yeah, cool. It's a hoverboard thing, rollerboard. <laughs> Segway without a thing. And we're, you know, we think it's awesome, but we're not, like, astonished by the technology because we assumed that we had it already. Roombas aren't that overwhelming. And that's what's going to happen for all sorts of future technology. AI, uh, augmented reality, fucking uh, robots, sex bots, and robots, and AI, 
again and VI and uh, FI, virtual intelligence and functional intelligence. Virtual intelligence being, as far as I'm concerned, uh, things that look like AI but are actually very low cognitive, you know, like CPUs in games. If a CPU in a game can make you think that it's another person without really taking advantage of that and it's just someone selling you some potions, that's, a, that's an FI or, or a VI. Um, like a little kiosk AI hologram that's like telling you all about the wacky city but isn't really interacting with you, that's a VI, not a real AI. Uh, they don't have anything going on in the back end. Uh, a functional intelligence doesn't have, is the exact opposite. They're the exact other half of the AI. They're all back, no front. So they are just terminals, you know, like the holograms on the Citadel in Mass Effect. This really turned into quite a hodgepodge video, but uh, I hope you enjoy, I, I think I'm running out of footage at this point. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed looking at New York City and seeing me drive around in, or seeing me go around in it and go over to the secondary channel, click the card up there, or if my camera flips it, it's up there. I need to remember that. So click a card, it's the eye icon. I don't know if I have access to the new thumbnails that are supposed to work on, the new annotations that are supposed to work on mobile and desktop, but cards, click the cards and go to the secondary channel, the full restore channel, and watch me talk about going to the Nintendo store, going to the Nintendo store. And uh, just as a teaser, here is my little chishpin. I found a friend. You failed me in X version, but you're still very cute.